level up lifers? Welcome back to the channel where we don't just break stereotypes, we pulverize them into glittery feminist dust. Today? Oh, today we're tackling a myth so old, so dusty, it probably has cobwebs on it. The idea that women are weak. Weak? Weak? Honey, please, we invented strength. We just let the guys think they were in charge for a few millennia. It was a long con. And the punchline? It's hilarious. Still think women are the weaker sex? Prepare to have your outdated beliefs benched, squatted, and deadlifted into the next millennium. Seriously, the weak woman trope is so outdated, it's practically using a rotary phone to dial up its misogyny. And yeah, yeah, some dudes with biceps the size of watermelons might look stronger. But we're not talking about appearances, people. We're talking about science. And science, bless its nerdy little heart, is about to drop a truth bomb so big it'll register on the Richter scale. Let's get sciency, but without the boring lab coat jargon. Think of it as Mythbusters, Female Strength Edition. Here's the deal. Pound for pound, our muscle fibers are just as powerful as men's. Boom! Mic drop number one. And get this, we're not just strong, we're efficient. Studies are showing that women often get more health benefits from the same amount of exercise. We're basically getting a two-for-one deal on fitness. It's like the universe is saying, here ladies, have some extra awesome. You deserve it. Speaking about endurance, that's another myth we need to bust. Turns out women are often better at ultra-endurance events. Why is that? Well, scientists think it might be due to differences in muscle fiber composition and how we metabolize fat. Essentially, we're built for the long haul. We're like the Energizer Bunny, but instead of batteries, we run on sheer willpower and the tears of our patriarchal oppressors. But enough with the hypotheticals. Let's talk about real-life wonder women who are out there crushing it. And I'm not just talking about Olympic athletes, although they're amazing. I'm talking about the everyday badasses and the record breakers and the history makers. First up, we have the powerlifters. You've got legends like Tamara Walcott, who holds the world record for the heaviest raw deadlift by a woman. We're talking seriously mind-blowing numbers. And then there are pioneers like Bev Francis, who in the 1980s was smashing powerlifting records and challenging the very idea of what a strong woman could look like. She was a bodybuilder, a powerlifter, a strong woman, a true trailblazer. The USA Powerlifting Women's Hall of Fame is packed with women like these, who are redefining the limits of human strength. These aren't strong for a woman. They're strong enough to tow a small planet strong. And it's not just a few outliers. The list of world championships medalists in powerlifting is getting longer and longer, proving that this is a female-dominated force to be reckoned with. Then we have the ultra-endurance athletes. Camille Heron? Goddess. We're talking about a woman who holds records for ultra-running. She covered over 167 miles in a single 24-hour day. Red Bull X Alps competitors? absolute legends. Although it is a mixed gender competition and men have typically won, women are increasingly competitive. And let's not forget the women dominating ultramarathons, Ironman triathlons, adventure races. Jasmine Paris won the Montane Spine Race, 268 miles of brutal terrain and became the first woman to do it. Courtney Dawalter finished the Moab 240 a staggering 10 hours ahead of her nearest competitor. 10 hours. In fact, statistically, in many ultra-distance events, women are outperforming men. These women aren't just participating, they're dominating. Beyond that, let's consider our everyday heroes. I'm talking about moms juggling toddlers, careers, and sanity. That's Olympic-level strength and multitasking, people. And what about nurses working double shifts? They're endurance champions in their own right. Think about all the women out there tackling physically demanding tasks, often without any recognition. These are the unsung heroes, the women who prove that strength isn't about showing off, it's about showing up. And it's about leveling up your own life every single day. 
It's about embracing challenges, cultivating a positive mindset, and focusing on your personal growth because you deserve a good life, a fulfilling life, a life where you push your boundaries and discover just how strong you truly are. And of course, we can't forget the women who are mastering self-defense. They're not just learning to fight, they're learning to be unbreakable. They're taking control of their safety and proving that fragile is a four-letter word. So, if women are basically superheroes in disguise, why does this weak stereotype persist? Because patriarchy. For centuries, we've been crammed into this tiny, ridiculous box labeled delicate flower. We were supposed to be pretty, quiet, and definitely not stronger than the menfolk. It's all bullshit, of course. A carefully constructed, historically reinforced, deeply ingrained fiction designed to keep women in their place. And you know what? I'm over it. And this channel... It's all about breaking free from those limitations, about cultivating gratitude, nurturing relationships, prioritizing self-care and creating a life that you love. A life where you're the student of the game, constantly learning and growing. This isn't just about hurt feelings. This stereotype is dangerous. It limits opportunities, crushes self-esteem and puts women at real risk. Because a girl who's told she's weak is less likely to play sports. Consequently, she will also be less likely to pursue STEM careers. As a result of this stereotype, it is very probable that she won't defend herself. Lastly, she will be less likely to take the lead and be confident. This stereotype is a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a cage built of expectations, and it has real-world consequences. It affects everything from career choices to relationships to personal safety. And let's be honest, some guys like this stereotype. It makes them feel superior. It's fragile masculinity packaged in a damsel in distress narrative, and it's time to dismantle it. But here's the thing. Women have always been strong. History just conveniently forgot to mention it. We're reclaiming those stories, but let's add some more fuel to this fire. First, we should talk about female gladiators. Yep, they existed. Known as gladiatresses, they fought just as fiercely as the men. And then there are Viking shield maidens, legendary warriors, feared and respected. In addition to that, we can also talk about Amazons. The story of the Amazons may be myth or reality, but the Amazons were a nation of all-female warriors in Greek mythology. Furthermore, there were women of Dahomey, an all-female military regiment in the kingdom of Dahomey, present-day Benin, known for their ferocity and skill. Also, let's not forget Lozen, a Chihen Chiricahua Apache warrior and prophet. She fought alongside Geronimo and was known as a skillful warrior. Similarly, we have Nakano Takeko, a Japanese female warrior of the Aizu domain, who fought and died during the Boshin War. And of course we have to mention Kutulun, a Mongolian noblewoman. She was described as a powerful warrior who participated in Mongol military campaigns. The point is, strength isn't a modern invention for women. It's in our DNA. It's in our history. It's time to stop erasing it. And it's not just history books. We're surrounded by modern-day pioneers. Firstly, think about the military. From nurses and spies in the Civil War to combat roles today, women have always been there. We're talking pilots, commanders, four-star generals. And secondly, first responders. Women are serving as firefighters, police officers, paramedics, putting their lives on the line every single day to protect our communities. Their bravery isn't new. It's just finally getting the recognition it deserves. And let's not forget the women breaking barriers in skilled trades. Construction workers, mechanics, plumbers, electricians. Women are increasingly entering these fields. And they're not just filling gaps. They're excelling. They're challenging those outdated ideas about man's work and proving that skill has nothing to do with gender. Finally, entrepreneurs and leaders. We must mention women who show a resilient mindset in their leadership. So level up lifers, what's our mission? It's simple. Become stereotype-shattering, truth-bomb-dropping, strength-celebrating machines. 
and it's about taking on challenges, creating healthy habits, and becoming the best version of yourself. Maybe it's a 30-day challenge, 10,000 steps, 10 pages of a book, no sugar, 10 minutes of reflection, and a healthy meal. Maybe it's something else entirely. The point is to push yourself, to grow, to level up. First, we must educate and elevate. Share this video, share articles, share stories, flood the internet with the reality of female strength, drown out the noise, be the change you want to see in the Google search results. Secondly, support and celebrate. We need to cheer on female athletes, female leaders, female everything, amplify their voices, celebrate their wins, be their hype squad. Let's make strong female character the default, not the exception. And finally, challenge yourself and the world. You should try that new sport, lift those weights, learn self-defense and push your limits. Embrace your power, show the world what you're made of. And if someone tells you you're not strong enough, laugh in their face, then deadlift their car. All right, level up lifers, that's your dose of empowerment for today. I hope you're feeling fired up, stereotype proof, and ready to unleash your inner badass. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button as you're crushing the patriarchy, and share this video with everyone who needs a reminder that women are unstoppable. And as always, keep leveling up your life and your strength.